guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey, I'm 20 years old and I am on the autistic spectrum. So before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. So let's get started. So today video I have a really excited, I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I stuff Rosie's con. So if you don't know, if you're new and you're just scrolling on YouTube looking for ideas, I have a Chihuahua and she's about six pounds. So for size reference, and these are the products that I'm going to be using. I have the West Paul Topple and these are in the size small. They have a small and a large. And I would say this would fit a various of these, the Tux and um, the Quizzy. And then I also have an extra small Kong, just a regular Kong and then a size small. So if you're just kind of wondering what sizes I have for my dog. And then I'm gonna kind of show you guys the ingredients I'm going to be using. So, and then we'll get started. So for the um, ingredients that you're going to need, so I have um, some shredded carrots, broccoli, blueberries, um, frozen peas, um, bone broth, canned pumpkin, Greek yogurt, just excellent free, of course, uh, eggs, and then two Pura Bites, um, salmon and chicken flavored. And I also have um, a few utensils, bowls, to mix the different stuff in, and this big that I'm gonna use later, and um, a pan, and then a bunch of Ziploc bag, because I'm prepping some of the stuff. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to make is we're just gonna make, um, like a fruit and veggie thing. So if your dog is anything like mine, she will not eat like a lot of fruits and vegetables. So this is kind of what I do. So I just take my Nutribullet and I basically put in a bunch of this stuff and I'm gonna kind of prep it, do it all at once. So I don't know how many I'm actually going to be able to do. So I'm gonna start with this because I might have to do this in a couple rounds. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put all these fruits and veggies in a bowl like this. And that way we can just mix the right amount. And um, so there's not like too much. is going to take a while so I'm going to kind of come back to you guys when this is all blended and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we'll move on to the next. Okay I know this looks disgusting but it's just kind of a veggie mush so she'll eat her veggies because she only eats them when they're covered in yogurt. So this is just them covered in yogurt so if you have a picky dog who prefers like sweeter things your dog may like this. I just made a whole like the, all the bags worth pretty much and this is what it made and this will probably last me like a really long time so I hopefully will never have to do this again for a very long time so I'm gonna go put this away and then I will see you guys after like this stuff part, this part's all cleaned up and I'll see you guys then okay now we're gonna make the eggs I haven't had a chance to um put these away I'm gonna need some help with that so I'm gonna come back to it but I'm gonna make the egg so I can put it in the bowl real quick so I'm gonna just cut them up and then I will kind of fast forward doing this.
actually, I'm gonna, you guys can't even see me, but I'm gonna come back when the egg, when everything's cleaned and ready to set up and the mush is put away and everything is just ready to go and prepped. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. I have the pre-made, I have the mush here and the eggs. So we're gonna start with the eggs. Okay, let's get started. So I first have eggs. So the first thing, the only thing I need at this point is the brown broth and the treats. So the first thing and the pumpkin, so I'm gonna grab that. Cause I had to put everything away and make everything look acceptable. So I'm gonna put the bone broth in the eggs and not just a little bit. Not that much, that's a little less. And then I'm gonna take salmon. This recipe, no, this is chicken. I want salmon. I'll try chicken this week. It's cool. And then just kind of cut this up. This is just freeze dried. Blend this together. Okay. Now we're gonna start stuffing them. So I'm gonna start with this. So I want I want to make sure when I stuff this is I want to make sure. I get around, so my dog's pretty small, so I don't stuff this all the way, and I just kind of make sure to cover around um, everything, get it kind of nice and covered, like so. So this is kind of what it looks like when done. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, and we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to do a tux. makes more I guess I use too much oh well um that at the bottom we're actually gonna have to add some toppings because this is just not enough so what we're gonna do is we'll just add a little bit of this paste in it because she loves this to finish it up There we go. And this is kind of what it looks like when done. So now we're gonna move on to the next recipe. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of this pumpkin in there and mix this pumpkin in there. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like after that. Then we're gonna mix a little bit of bone broth. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when now we're gonna add some salmon pure bite. This is the feline version, but if you have a bigger pet, you could probably just use the bigger dog. These are just smaller pieces because I have a smaller dog. So that's really all. It's literally just salmon. It's really the same thing. Like look how big that is. So it really is just the same thing. Mix that together. And now we're gonna start stuffing these so i find the best way to stuff is with a spoon it gets it's faster and the thing with the veggie puree mix is it's really important that all veggies are really surrounding the mix so it doesn't just taste like just veggies because then it's just nasty for them because rosie does will not eat it if the veggies are not covered in the yogurt. So I like to make sure I get it as pureed as possible when I do it. But again, if your dog will eat it, you're not gonna have to do that. But just for me, and then what I'll do is I'll bump it to the side and I'll see how much is left to stuff. And I'll keep on stuffing. The clongs are the hardest to stuff, um, but the topple and the tucks is pretty easy. Um, I definitely make a mess, I'm not perfect, but I do the best I can. Okay. 
which this is the bigger one, so this will have like the bigger pieces in it. I want this to be towards the middle because I know she won't need it. So I'm gonna start with something a little more exciting at the bottom. Like you can do this however your pet will eat it. If your dog eats the veggies, like this thing is like really disgusting um, and it smells really gross. I wouldn't recommend it if your dog will just eat the veggies plain. Like you can just mix it in with the pumpkin and it will be fine. But for me, because my dog will not eat them, this just creates a really uh, yummy way for her to eat them so she is getting her veggies in. So this is just kind of how I do it. Uh, it's okay. So what I'll do is you see like I'm kind of gonna putting it towards the middle. And now it's stuff we're gonna move on to the next part. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start putting a little bit of bone broth. I don't want them to be completely full because it's just a little too thick for it to fit in. So I want it to kind of go in with like a little but it's really hard, so I'm gonna focus a bit. Like I want it to be about halfway, so it has like a tilt, so one side can go in. So I'm gonna make two because I don't need them completely. So I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna do chicken actually, just plain chicken. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken in here. You could do apple, whatever you want. And then you just put them in your freezer and it makes for a super funny, fun, yummy frozen treat. So I'm just gonna put a few, a few pieces of chicken in each of these. And you can do just the bone broth, whatever you feel. You can do a little bit of wet food at the bottom. I'm gonna try to do three pieces of chicken each. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer. So this is what they look at. As you can see, they're like half full. And so it's okay if they spill a little bit because that's actually good because you don't want them to be completely full because they won't fit in there and it needs to have that slit like it does right here. Hopefully that other one will be good, but it will make it super easy for this part just to stick right into the tops. And put this in and then we're gonna start cleaning up. So if this, you know, sorry, balls a little bit it's not that big of a deal because it's actually good because you do not want this stuff fully filled okay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video so the last enrichment i need to prep are these looking at so what i do is every few days like i'm not going to show you because i'm kind of tired and i'm going to be doing it late at night so you really wouldn't be able to see very well um because i do it after dinner and it's dark because it's winter so so what I do is I make sure to spread. I have like six licking mats. They last me three days. I put them in the freezer and then I pull them out when I'm ready. So that's the, really the only other enrichment like freezer, refrigerator stuff that I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my lovely videos. Bye guys.